Boy, I tell you, it is hot out there. And as the air heats up, so do Utah roads. They can be up to 30 degrees hotter than the air. In these conditions, the roads can buckle. Fox 13 News reporter Spencer Joseph spoke with a crew that's been working hard at one site in South Jordan. Where we have 100 degree temperatures in the air, uh, roadway could be anywhere from 120 to 130 degrees. When Mother Nature gets involved, all bets are off, and she's going to do what she's going to do, and, and uh, we have to be able to react to that. It's a little unnerving to think that roads we drive on every day might suddenly stop working and become dangerous. But it's an issue that Utah regularly faces this time of year. When it decides to go, it just goes and buckles, and then we have to respond. Statewide, maybe about 30, 40 blow-ups a year. Major. What they call blow-ups are where roads buckle so bad it creates a ramp of sorts. During the hot, dreaded uh, summer, we get what you call blow-ups. A uh, good way to describe blow-ups is when the concrete becomes too tight and can't handle the, the pressure and has nowhere to go but up. But sometimes uh, the expansion joints get filled with gravel, debris, dirt, and so the road has nowhere to expand. And that's why you get blow-ups. While it can sometimes be caught early. We can see signs of those things happening. If we know they're going to go, we'll get in there and fix them right away before they become a problem. When and where the next one will happen is up in the air. This one in South Jordan at busy 114th South created some issues over the weekend. Jake Brown and his crews with UDOT temporarily fixed it and then spent Monday night and Tuesday morning to repair it. And uh, used some rapid set concrete and re poured the roadway and had the roadway open for the morning commute. But they will always take into consideration delays and impacts. Getting the road open is, uh, is primary. We take the traveling public uh, always into our mind when we're doing those things. So as you're driving this summer, while it's unlikely, keep an eye out. Watch what the car does in front of you. If they hit a big bump, slow down. And make sure you stay safe. Uh, the biggest one is speed. Uh, just control your speed. Spencer Joseph. Go the go the proper speed limit. Fox 13 News. And then just be a, a defensive driver. Utah.